Hello everyone and welcome back. We are going to be bringing you game two between Edith and Black Dawn for the third week of the Carlton in-house tournament brought to you by the Carlton Esports Club and members much like yourselves, I hope. I am Claude <laughs> and casting with me is... Yo, what's up? It's Pink Mun here. My name is Martin Lunn. What's up? I'm bad at doing <laughs> intros, but hopefully I'm good at casting. Well, that well, was a little the, 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 fir the first rule to get a good intro is to stick with one name. Um, I yo, I'm Pink Mun. I'm Swaggity McSwaggerson, and I'm Martin Lund. What you gonna do now, huh? I got three names. I can drop you from the Skype call and cast. Jesus you Christ, please no. I'm, I'm just playing around, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Kale and Luke Bands coming out. Ezreal again. I, apparently they must know something about Defloater's AD carry champion pool. It appears that they're just banning out what they played last game, which makes it interesting. Do you remember what they banned the first game? Because we might see some of those champions coming in. I recall Elise and Vi bands. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they banned out some stronger junglers. While um, we're also going to see some reactionary bans come out from Team Edith. They don't like the Wukong and the Ziggs, but they're going to stick with the Thresh. Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Vi pick up right here if they play it. Mm -hmm. yep, there you go. Is... That's... Can, I, can, I, can I get some applause for my crystal ball, please? You are a prophetess. That's, that's, that's me, dude. Um... <laughs> In terms of mid laners, it's a little ambiguous because of the changes in the mid lane. Yeah, Pantheon, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah. I, I don't know what they're going to pick, if they're going to pick support here or not. Because of the way the bot lanes are going with these actually fairly passive supports, it's not very counterable. That's true. It's, um... I don't know. I, I'm more, once we see what our Higgin guys is going to be picking up... Okay, it's going to be the Lucian. Lucian does insane amounts of work early yep. game in terms of poking 80 carries down, but against something like a Leona, he has to play so passive or risk dying. Yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, if you like dash in forward to get your uh, light thing off, or and you just can't, and you don't dodge that Zenith blade, you are so dead. Yeah. I mean, like, Jesus Christ, I hate playing against Leona. Playing against Leona hurts my soul because it's like pre six, she only has Zenith blade, and it's like okay, all I have to do is stay the fuck out of her range and just be like a billion units away from her. And then I'll live. Like, I'll get denied CF, but I'll live. And then she hits six, and it's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, please don't ult, please don't ult. Yeah. The, the Gragas was banned out last game, and it looks like uh, we might see Kool Aid Nikwa picking the fat man up. Okay, he's not fat, he's fluffy. He, he's magically altered. <laughs> okay, okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. <laughs> Although, we, we might, you might see Morgana with that uh, black shield. In the bot lane, it looks like between. Uh, a, if they were to gank bot lane, they would have a Pantheon. And a, um... Oh, there comes a Leona! Oh god, prepare your bum so, Okay, holes. this is going to be a middle, uh, Morgana then, which... She... She's impossible to gank. It's hard to kill her solo unless you are running as a melee assassin. Yeah, but I'm really surprised. she doesn't really do that much still. They did change her W to do a little bit more damage, but it's just... There's just people that have more reliable stuns and more reliable damage. One of the reasons that Morgana was dropped from competitive play is that her cooldowns are so long. You have to hit everybody in team fight, or else you literally just sit in the back line and do nothing for a while. That being said, if she lands a four or five person ult and she manages to get the stun on most of them, that's a one team fight in essence. Most oh, yeah. of the time, that's a one team fight. Well, with, without a doubt, it's like done. Especially think, if you're able to combo that up with like a with a, a Leona, Leona or a Vi, absolutely. Yeah. I think that they're actually picking the right kind of comp right here. I think that they're picking a comp that they'll be able to turn on their opponents when they show an opening. Okay. We see a, we see a Gragas pick coming in here, which is fairly nice. There's a similar amount of sustain on Gragas and Morgana. Morgana's passive because they're spell them, and Gragas is passive, gives them two percent current health. I, oh, max I do health not healing. like this um, Malphite. I uh, really have to say Malphite in the top lane. It's very very outdated. He just doesn't have the damage, doesn't have the mana sustain, he doesn't have any way of farming effectively if he falls behind. I think and he might be picking against the player instead of against the champion. He could I think be. he might be. I think he I think he's playing against that yeah, player's and, weakness and from when he saw the last is, game. If if you pick Malphite, they're just gonna pick someone like Vlad and you have no chance of doing anything. Yeah, Vlad does have an opportunity to pull the uh, Malphite and stop <laughs> Wars ultimate. And the Gragas ult. I really like Vlad into Gragas. That's yeah. a matchup I, I actually like a lot. Uh, and not in terms of in the lane, but in, in terms of team composition. I, I'm actually going to say, like, I am not liking the Vlad 
in terms of team comp, though. It's like, in terms of lane, it's good. In terms of team comp, so you've got the Leona who's going in. You've got the Vi who's going in. You've got the Morgana who, like, wants to kind of go in. She wants to go where the enemy team is. If the enemy yep. team is diving, she can use her ult yeah. to peel, but and otherwise, it's going to be like a, like a flash ult kind of thing. Yeah, but, and, but with the Vlad, it's like... You would expect with the Leona and a Vi, you'd have a top laner who'd also go in and follow and finish them up. You're like, Vi, she does some pretty good damage throughout the mid game, but late game her damage really drops off. If you had someone like a Renekton or a Siobhan who's always going to just be able to also like put out that good sustained damage on, on the dives, then when Vi ults someone, that person's going to be dying in a team fight. But the Vlad can't follow. It's Vlad, yeah, no, well, I actually do like the Vlad pickup. Because what Vlad does is Vlad outputs a lot of consistent area of effect magic damage. And if you look at Team uh, Black Dawn's comp, they have a Morgana, a Leona, and a Vi. They can force fights. They can use a Silver Alt to catch up if necessary to a fleeing team. And what they can do with that is they can let Vlad get off two or three tides of blood on multiple people between the Morgana and the Leona. That's true. Like, that is true. It's like Vlad still is like really good late game, but... I'm I'm just having a hard time thinking like if uh if, if what team team Eda is able to survive the uh the dives and they don't lose anyone to the Vi. What I think is gonna happen is like Vi is gonna find herself all the way into enemy lines against a Gragas and a Lucian, and she's going to have no almost no support. The Leona will be there, but the Leona once her stuns are on cooldown, she doesn't offer you anything. And so the Vi will just get focused on very quickly, and it can turn into a 4v5. Absolutely. Uh, I think, it, yeah, absolutely. What I'm, what I'm looking for this game, what I want to see, is whenever I, I, I see somebody playing a champion like Janna, when you play Janna, because of arguably her weakness in the current metagame, you've got to be not just good on Janna, you have to be great. You have to cancel all the Zenith Blades, you have to cancel. All the Vault Breakers, you have to play perfectly or you're probably going to die. So I'm really excited to see Blacks on that uh, with those Howling Gales, which do have the ability to cancel the uh, Vi-Q, the Vault Breaker, and the Leona E, the Zenith Blade. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that's also like worth mentioning is like we, we see that uh, Black Dawn has like a very engaged, focused team, like uh, as I was saying, like they want to go in. But look at what uh, what uh, Edith has. They have the Janna, they have the Gragas. Those are like the two big assaults that say, no, you are not fighting. One of the things I'm actually curious about is um, we, we uh, for, for a while on my team, we were running Gragas Jarvan comps. And if you think about those those ultimates, they're so counter... Like, if you're going to Jarvan ult somebody, you want them to stay in the ultimate. But if you're going to Gragas ult somebody, they're going to all split up. And it's just, it, it, there's no synergy there. Between the jar, uh, between the Greg assault and the Jana alt, if you miss, there's a lot of potential to miss coordinate usage of those ultimates. There's a lot of ability to Jana alt and knock everybody out of where Greg is just ulted. Not sure. Although I think like the the J four and the Gragas can work because if you use it at the end of the J four ultimate, it's it's also just mainly the fact that with Gragas, like you want to be hitting as many people with your barrel as possible because. It does an insanely huge amount of damage. Oh, please. I know. I play AD carry. I, I, I know that I've built two Negatron cloaks and it still one-shots me with his Q. Like, yeah. ugh. Please yeah, write it. Up. It's like a 90% AP ratio on his yeah. Q and his ult. It's like they, oh god, they nerfed Greg ult by reducing 10% AP ratio. Yeah, it used Lord to be 100%. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't build a bruiser and give it one per one AP scale. Like... Anyway, we're about to get into the game here. Hopefully, we'll have a fewer number of delays and disconnects, but we'll deal with what we get. Yes, that we will. In terms of uh, the jungle, I've heard a lot of people say that Vi's level 2 is pretty weak and that she's actually vulnerable because usually she'll go W and then she'll skill into her E and she'll yeah. get her Q level 3 for ganking. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, but, right. So I actually give the advantage to Pantheon at level 2, but I'm not sure if he has enough traction in that matchup to actually contest a second buff like he did last game. It didn't really work out for him. I'm excited yeah. to see what he's going to do this game. Yeah, I think, like, last game, they went for the invade. It didn't really work out, and it put him really far behind. But Grant, him falling behind there, like, it wasn't a noticeable impact in that game, as the Wukong was just not able to turn any of his ganks into kills. 
And if he had, then you would have seen the Pantheon being high and come into real effect. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that Vlad skin. Is it Blood Lord Vladimir? No, Nosferatu. I haven't seen that one. But you haven't seen it ever? I don't, th I don't think I've ever seen Nosferatu Vladimir. It's, it's a very old one. Well, at least he has a good CS Lucian skin. Because, like, you play higher gun Lucian and your CS up goes by, like, 20%. Why does it do that? It's because the auto attack feels so much chunkier. At least it has, have, they have lesbian police officer Vlad skin. Because that's, that's a good one, right? Why is she a lesbian? Oh, come on. She's... She's a girl with huge fists. Let me stereotype a little bit. Like, come on. <laughs> I, I, think, I think in that case, si have, in, an increase the size of a hand is not a good thing. Okay, okay. I'm just being a little insensitive and stereotypical. Yes. Yes, you are. Yep, a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> moving okay. <on. laughs> moving, moving back to the realm of PG... Um, would you like to be doing the play-by-play play, play play casting this game, or would you like me to? Uh, I kind of do whatever's feeling natural at the moment. Absolutely. I think we should organize it. Would you like to do it, or would you like me to do this game? Organizing feels unnatural. Oh, come on. Get over it. Would you, if you want, I can do it, or you can do it. I don't know. Just, what? Do eeny, meeny, miny, moe if necessary. It's not that hard of a decision. It, how, it's really how not. How do you do eeny, meeny, miny, moe when we can't see each other? I, you can do it. I don't care which one you come out with. I, I'm just trying to help you make a decision. I don't want to make a decision. You know what? Fine. I'll do the play-by-play -play casting then. You can do all the analysis to your heart's content. You're annoying. I hate you. I, I, I love you too, Mike. I, I, <laughs> we have that special type of relationship. So, uh, which bot lane do you think is going to push harder? Uh... Well, like the the silver lane will like always. I think it it's a silver lane. That's as basically as aggressive as you can get. So, I actually think silver Caitlyn would be more aggressive. Um, wait, silver Caitlyn? Yeah, Caitlyn's an extremely strong champion early in the game. She can push and she can poke. Okay, well, that's regardless of that. We will be going into game two. Uh, will Black Dawn take it to the game three, or will they fall down in a neat tee? Uh, 2-0. They are going to be spawning on the blue side with Kaiserman playing the Sivir. Pookie will be the sub for this game. Replace it. Who did, who's he? He was, he was playing a... jungle last game, and now he's playing top lane. Right. Yeah. Oh. He... Okay. I just he was a Wukong. Names. They're, they're, I'm not familiar with any of the names because yeah, because there's a lot of teams in this tournament. Uh, he team. will be playing the Vlad. Uh, the mid will be picked up by Kool-Aid Nico, who hopefully does not disconnect for that first blood. In the bot lane, we will have Momo... Momo Chi Kamoa. It's alright, I had to pronounce that yeah. last name. It's yeah, Momo I... Chi Kamo. Mo... We'll have something that's kawaii, as, as the Leona, with uh, Klim picking up the Vi. And who do we have on the red side? On the red or purple side, as commonly known as, we have... <laughs> Riverhead playing Malphite. No, that, that, Seafood twelve Rukhaging twelve. Geist. <laughs> Pardon? Rohiggingeist. Rivet? Am I saying it right? Rohiggingeist. Rivet. <laughs> I give up. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even. I didn't even try. I'm not gonna lie. We have Seafood twelve twelve. I mean, let's be honest. Sushi all the way. Playing um, Pantheon. We have Little Hollywood playing Gregus. Hopefully, he'll make some Hollywood quality highlight reels. We have Deflota or Dakota playing Lucian and Blacks on Jenna. Mm -hmm. uh, both junglers going to be starting on the bottom side. Red for the Vi and blue for the Pantheon. The so, bottom lane leashes are just too big. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're really helpful. And, and then you also get to go to the, the top lane, which uh, will uh, you want to see this Vlad try or this Vlad die a lot if you're on Team Eat It. You well, don't I mean, want to see Vlad get, get be given space. Yeah, Vlad is a scary, scary champion. Yeah. I'm just going to look in the bot lane here, because that's the lane that I have the most experience at. And what I see going on right now is the Silver Leona lane is actually playing relatively passive against the Janna Shield. And by doing that, they're giving up a push opportunity to get level 2 first and force a bad trade. Oh, they do have a Relic Shield. Yeah, they're up right now on one creep, so they're ahead on experience. 
It will be the third creep of the second wave, so that's the second one. And this melee creep that goes down right here, they'll hit level two. They're not walking up. They're not going to be positioned for a level two trade. Yeah. The uh, red side is an opportunity to back off. Yeah, and th and they hit level two pretty t uh, speedily. And Absolutely. a little bit of free poke going down from the Lucian. Lucian's a very pokey champion, and Silver has, like, no range. Like, she's basically melee. Yeah, that, that is true. And last game we saw extreme range coming out of Team Eden, and this game we're seeing Leona, Sivir, and Morgana coming out of, and Vlad too coming out of uh, Team Black Dawn. Yeah, uh, we will see that Vla uh, Pantheon actually struggles to clear his red buff a little bit. He's quite low, and if he decides to go for a gank, it could be a little bit troublesome. Like he could get turned around all. I don't think Vlad can, can really turn on him. Maybe with Ignite and two okay. Qs. Yeah, but uh, Malphite's going for it, and the stun goes out. He, he does see that the, that Pantheon is low, and yeah, he goes for the Ignite, he gets the auto attack, and there we go, he got the turnaround. He's going to pop the Ghost, and he should be okay. Uh, Malphite has nothing, and double buffs on Vlad for free. Absolutely. I mean, Gank's gone wrong. The red buff, is he going to go in for it? He's going to auto attack? He's going to eat, he's going to get the kill. Doesn't even need to pull out. Oh. Yeah, uh... At this point now, like that's as bad as things can go. The, the Vlad got two kills for free. He's got like early game is when Vlad is at his weakest because the, the cooldown on, on your Q, unless you're taking cooldown reduction runes, is like 10 seconds at level one. It's huge. It's a couple of geologic ages. Basically, it's like going from uh, I don't know. I, I I forgot all the ages. It's going from the Jurassic Age to right now. I mean, that's the only one that people know because of just Jurassic Park, right? I mean, basically. That's the important. Jurassic was like the the earliest of the of the ages, though. You see, I'm not a history major. I I am not gonna lie. I don't know that stuff. History majors don't know that. Well, you're a history major. Yeah. Come on, you gotta give me something here. I, I made a history major reference. Come on. Uh, Morgana's looking to try and see us in this mid lane, but I yeah. mean it's hard. Uh, against Gragas. Oh, Gragas is zoom now. Uh, he will just take a little bit of damage. He's still up on health of Morgana almost. Yeah. And yeah, he does have a lot he, of mana he, sustain. Yeah, he, he does have the mana, but... Action going in the bot lane. Flash comes out of Silver Flash to follow by Lucian, and the barrier comes out to block the tower shot. Is Leona going to go down? Oh, I think she Jana? will. Yeah, the, there, there's a tornado. Uh, oh! Oh! Oda doesn't actually... Uh, he was fairly like, out of mana. He doesn't stutter step. And in comes the Vi. The Flash goes out from the uh, Leona. She will give up the kill. Uh, the Floater can actually stand and fight here in the creep wave. That's a cannon creep. That's a scary, scary. If you yeah. can use the creeps to body block, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that, that was very well played by Defloda. He he realized that he had such a huge creep wave, and uh, it took uh, Klim a little bit too long to realize that he was taking a little bit too much damage. I mean, let's be clear. Cannon creeps have 43 attack. Champions at this point in this game have like 86. It's half of a champion attacking you. Like that's not insignificant. Yeah, I don't know, and it's not like they don't have any attack speed too. They they have a noteworthy amount of attack speed creeps. Range creeps and cannon creeps do so much damage. Like, they're I have nightmares about range creeps trading into them. Like maybe maybe you guys think I'm weird, but like that cannon creep, if you look at it in the top lane and click in it, yeah, now it has 44 attack. Like one attack speed. That's higher than most champions at this point. Yeah. This Malphite is not going to be having fun on this bottom lane. Uh, one thing that I see, saw him just do, he threw out a Q on the Vlad. He should not be doing that. He needs to save his mana to try and get CS. But it was a normal point, effort, though. Yeah, and it's like, you're not going to be poking the Vlad no matter what. So he he just has to try and get as much CS as possible. Like, it, there's at this point, top lane should be virtually abandoned. Like, Malphite, if he gets a gank, he's going to die. If he overextends and stays too long, he'll either... He could die to the Vlad solo, but he... He really should just, like, whenever he's low, whenever he's zoomed, he has to back. Realize that tower's gonna take damage. Vlad can't push too hard, so it's not like it's gonna fall down quickly. You but... know, I was gonna I was gonna disagree with you, but I was just looking at the gold totals, and Vlad almost has 1,000 gold lead, which yeah. I think is actually really interesting, considering the gold totals are currently even, meaning that in other lanes, um, Malphite's team is actually quite far ahead. That is Team Edict. Yeah, but, well, there's three kills on the Lucian, which is huge. Uh, he, has, he has a BF sword to a Vamp Scepter. That's that's pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a, uh, w w they can't fight. Fight uh, Black John can't like engage at all because the Sivir doesn't do damage compared to the Lucian. Absolutely. 
If I look at the Lucian right now, um, one of the the only weaknesses of uh, going BF sword is that you usually don't get enough a uh, life steal. But if you look at him, he's actually running four okay. percent right now. Uh, Vi's level six of the level five of the Pantheon, and she's going to try and get a gank down bottom. Uh, Leona actually managed to hit her Zenith Blade, and the Vi will be shown here. The ultimate comes out from Lucian, and Vi will be spotted, and that will be the end of that. I feel like she should have just gone on that, or not should. Yeah. Probably a bit of a mistake there from her. It's all good. Pantheon is only halfway to six. So yeah, there isn't an opportunity for Pantheon to ult top lane, for example. Uh, to be honest, I think it's better used, like, anywhere else. Um, if he's able to, like, you um, angle it properly and well, he can get a kill on the Morgana because the damage will pop her shield if it's if she doesn't have any extra ranks in it or a large amount of AP, and then he can get stuck. Are you talking about the, the Pantheon ult on the Morgana? Yeah, yeah, Pantheon ult on the Morgana. Yeah, absolutely. The Pantheon ult does boatloads of damage. Like, if I mouse over it right now, the Pantheon ult at level 1 does 400 damage. The Morgana Black Shield does 130, and the oh. ult going for Morgana comes down. Oh, she gets ulted into the tower, um, but that will kind of, ults go out, but that's it. Yeah, if the, both uh, champions are, are out of mana right now, so there's no way to keep going in the all-in. Yeah, it was kind of an odd choice. It's like, e even if there hadn't been any ult in the Gragas, there was no way Morgana was getting that kill. Yeah, but I mean, you force, you force him into a situation where you're a couple hundred health up. Yeah. And granted, I will say the Gragas ult is a little bit uh, more valuable than the Morgana ult right now, because it's more likely that the Gragas ult is used in a gank than the Morgana ult. Oh, and goes here, here, goes, here goes the Pantheon. Oh, there we go. See, it instantly pops the, the Black Shield. And... Oh! The Vial comes goes in! The Spear will not be enough, and this is going to be two people for the price of no one. Although that will be an execute. Yep. No hit arena, no gold arena. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, they they did give up a flash on the Pantheon, which is obviously like not worth it because they didn't get anything. But there will be a disconnect on the Kragus. That might explain some of the action that just happened. Yeah, well, I guess he got ulted by the Vi, and then he kind of stood there. It looked like, or he, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what he did I don't quite remember even though that was only 10 seconds ago but he, after, as soon as he got viled as soon as he got Morgana binded then violated he was dead absolutely when you get um, Vi, uh, Morgana binded under tower and then violated I mean I, I wouldn't blame him for rage quitting because that's so frustrating I mean <laughs> I'm actually uh, and, and that, that gank was looking so good too absolutely I'm uh, I'm actually um if a, a champion, while their ability is in cooldown and pause mode, it'll just keep replaying the last second, and, and you, if you look at the cooldown timer, it'll... I can't describe it, it just looks hilarious. Uh, yeah, I, I see now. I have the Morgana uh, Dark Binding up, or not Dark Binding, what, what's it called? Soul, Soul, Shackles? Soul Shackles. There you go, you finally remembered. Well, I'm yeah, I, I, I did guess which ability you were talking about, and then remember the name for it. Mm-hmm. That's the kill skills that kills for thrills to pay the bills, yo. Indeed. <laughs> oh god, we have the teal back. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, we did have a uh, little Hollywood reconnect, but uh, I'll take a look at the chat because I want to see. Okay, so they say they're ready, so I guess we'll be seeing this starting soon. Just give it like another couple hours. <laughs> Of course. There's of a five course. second timer or whatever. Yep, there is the countdown. And we'll be going back into game. Uh, this Malphite, though, is actually not doing that badly as far as uh, last hits go. Partly because Vlad, he, you kind of need to uh, push as Vlad to last hit. Because your attack animation and your base attack damage is so low. I believe there was a red buff taken away from Pantheon here, but for, I might be wrong about that. I wasn't quite paying enough attention. Well, he doesn't have it, so yeah, I think it was taken away after he died. Yeah. Yeah, I must have missed that during the pause. Absolutely. We see how Morgana actually still building a Zonia into a Gragas. 
I find that pretty interesting, considering the advantage that Athene's Unholy Grail gives in an AP versus AP matchup. Yeah, that, that is true, but it's just... Zonia's on Morgana is just so good. It, it is for team fights. There's no disagreeing with that. Yeah. Uh, I, was actually, I was actually talking to a Diamond 1 player who um, mains Orianna. Okay, and... we do see the uh, Vlad get ganked up on. The Unstoppable Force does go out. He pops his ultimate, tries to turn around. The Ignite is on the Malphite. Will he take down? No, he does not. He pops a ghost and the will walk away. Damn, that, that Malphite walked out with less than 30 health. I saw I saw a 4. I saw 4. I'm not going to lie. I don't, yeah, he's regening pretty quickly. So, I don't know. When I moused over him, he was at 30. Uh, health so, up. So, it was like, yeah, he, he had less than 30. Because when I clicked on him, he had 30. That Vlad almost turned that 2 if you want. Is that a Renekton in top lane? Or is that a Vlad? Because, man... It's a Vlad who's got his uh, cooldown boots already. He's got oh, and God. he's got a hunting guys and he has his drone shield. That's really interesting. He went for cooldown boots despite the fact that they were nerfed. I'm wondering if he even knows about the nerf. They were nerfed from 15% uh, CDR to 20% with no change in cost, as I recall. Haven't they always been 15%? I believe they were 20%. No, I don't ever remember them being 20%. Then I'm entirely wrong. Leona alts bottom lane. Vi's coming to follow up. Janna alts. We see Lucian coming down, and the Q is able to pick it up right there. Yeah, another turnaround gank. So uh, right now it's looking like if you're playing in this game, you do not want to be as you gank because you just give up kills whenever you gank. Absolutely, the turnaround potential is so big. It's just very difficult without extreme coordination to uh, be able to. Uh, uh, I think that's uh, oh the Gragas is coming in. He's got the barrel. She does get the flash and the barrier. Oh. But they will get the quick double tap. She turned back! She turned back! She was trying to bait him under tower for the Vita, for the Vita come, but she wasn't... Uh... And, and she she was trying to dodge a, a last, just a regular barrel. Yeah. I believe she um she actually spell shielded the last barrel after flashing the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. I, she, she used the... She used a spell shield, but she didn't want to. Because it... I don't know. But, but uh, the Lucian was able to pick it up. Absolutely. That Malphite's getting chunked down in top lane. He's going to have to back and give up a lot of pressure. We yeah. might see the turret go down right here. Yeah, it was like right now Vlad's starting to hurt a lot. Oh, stop! Oh, we get, we get a nice bait. He flashes quite well, but uh, I think Malphite will still be going down. That it, ward in the brush just seals the deal. Yeah. He, he didn't he's get gonna... his shield uh, back up. Uh, he, he's oom now, and uh, he's probably not going to give up an execute. Nope. We'll weep for you, Malphite. You were so rock solid when you were alive. Yeah, I... It... Wait, he is running Ignite. Yeah, if he had Ignite, he may have had a chance at that. But we will see Vi now in the bottom lane. She has... Oh, the Leona goes... The Zenith Blade is missed! And is that, that Yellow Star? Is that a Yellow Star? I don't know. But we have the Pantheon here. He's got his ult. Will he jump? No, he won't. No Kobe for us. Okay, this is something I haven't seen in a long time. Just, uh, like, mids farming up their Wraith camp. Yeah, it's, it's fairly standard. If you're not going to roam when you have enough pressure, you're going to be yeah. doing a Wraith camp. Yeah, but uh, now most people are roaming more often. Absolutely. Roaming is better, but in a situation where you can't roam, it's much better to uh, do oh, Wraith And there Vlad you see the Vlad into the Gragas. That's why I like that match. He still might go down. Oh, he lives! One auto attack! Gonna get an ability up? Oh, he almost juked that. Oh, oh man, uh, the Gragas ends up cleaning up. Oh, Watch to a Vi. Does Vi have ultimate? She does! Is There goes the Gragas. No red buff on Malphite though. Not gonna chase that one down. Too scared. Yeah. So, um, kill for a kill there, but I I, I don't know if Vlad... I think Vlad did get that assist, so that's more worth it for Team Blackstone. They get the assist gold out of that. But the gold overall is still dead even, and they're going to go for Dragon. Absolutely. I do believe that, um, although Vlad scales into late game, he can't single-handedly win games. Not the same way that a Fed Lucian can. Yeah, that, that's very true. And this Dragon is going to go for free. Uh, Sivir's too far away to do anything. Leona, she's not going to throw out her ult to try and steal it. It was down for a little, for just a second until Dragon died. I just typed the Dragon timer into chat. I play way too much League. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you have a problem. I, I do. I did it instinctively. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. And, and I was like, you're not even plat. Uh, I know, dude. I pay way too much attention to like little things. And you're not even plat. 
Yeah, it's okay. I was platinum last season. Oh, excuse me. Pre-season four, I was platinum. Yeah. It... So it doesn't count. Yeah, I don't care. I don't need the banner. That's what, I have the feeling in my heart. Oh my god, that damage onto the Sivir right there. The damage onto the Vi, too. Gregus is dealing with those doubles. There's going to be a, a dive coming down from oh, Tiki. Yeah. She's, they should just leave the tower. Throws out the ult, and Barrel will hit, and that will be that. The Leona ult is thrown out a little bit sillily, but here's a Morgana, and they're going to go for her. Uh, that's a dead oh. Morgana. She doesn't have Zonias. Yeah, oh, and uh, that that is going to be a nice and monsoon, which actually prevents the Soul Shackles. But my actually, nope, it will not be saving her. As the Gragas comes in and secures a kill with a final barrel. Absolutely. Now they're going to go in onto the Sivir and she's going to die. Yeah, that was just proper aggro juggling. I mean, Morgana tried to do what she could, but in that situation, just go for the mid tower, Morgana. You, you can't really do much. Gragas decided, I'm fat enough, I'm tanky enough, I can, I can take some tower shots. Yeah. And they're going to be taking the mid tower and probably the bottom tower too for this. So, uh, big gold lead's going to be swinging the way of Team Eat It. Vlad will be walking into this middle lane and. He's almost done his realized. He does quite a bit of damage, and he might be able to pick up his Pantheon. Yeah, there he goes. goes. down, absolutely. Well, can Gregus clean up on the flat? Ghost just popped. Gregus lands the E. Pool is down. Is he going to be able to clean this up with autos? The sustain from Vlad is yep. huge. The ult comes out, and there you go. Yeah, so not quite worthy. That's a... Was that a shutdown? Oh, he does a little bit of a dance. Dance <laughs> it, da dancing on the corpse of his friend. He's not doing a proper dance, though. He's supposed to do the one where he puts his hands in the air. And then well, he's supposed he, to do the moonwalk. He started with that. Okay, okay. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. There's actually a trick that if you um, if you cast your W while you're um, using your E and you start uh, your E facing backwards when you cast your W, you can actually end up going backwards in your E and it's called moonwalking race. It's a really neat trick I learned from Arthalon. I'll have to try that out sometime. I've never actually heard of that. And I play a good bit of Gragas in solo queue. Hey, it's so much fun. Especially when you get a kill doing it. Just so many style points. Style, style points are when uh, you uh, you flash... you fla Oh, no. Wait, no. I did this on Ari to a Gragas rather than playing as a Gragas. Did you, did you pull a shifter? I don't know. What's a shifter? When you flash charm? What? Shifter had an amazing flash charm play. Oh, no. not, not Okay, what, what I did is I was... I was baiting him, we were both really, really low, and it was like, it was early game, so I was like, he's probably going to body slam me, and if he body slams me, I'm just dead. So I was baiting it, I baited the body slam, and and he, I flashed it out to the side, and he, so he body slammed under the tower, took one tower hit, and I just landed uh, an, an auto and ignite, and my uh, fox fire. And, Did you hashtag bait it and outsmarted? Uh, he, he replied and said nice. <laughs> it yep. looks like Vlad's going to be getting caught out by Gregus and Malphite here. Malphite still has ultimate. There, you see it go down. Leon, Leon, Leon to follow. Greg is Gregus going to go down? No, he isn't. And that looks like a free pick off of Vladimir right there. Your pool is strong, but it's not that OP, my friend. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have the zone here, so it's not like he's invincible Vlad right now. Once you have a Vl uh, enough cooldown reduction as Vlad and a zone you just can go in fights and like never die. I mean, come on, it's only like... Oh, the Gragas ult goes out, uh, the Vi will be jumping in, but she gets stunned up. There's the ult on the Pantheon. Pantheon will be saved by that nice monsoon, and the Morgana barely lives, and, uh... I th Not even close, baby. Come on, she had, like, a solid 50 Oh! Health. The Gragas does get the oh. kill, and that will be two going down. Uh, we're getting... The Lucian is ballsy, and he might go down if he does not have a way to get out of here. Five seconds on his Q. I think he's, I think he's gonna. Oh, look, he, he's okay. Can he make it? Oh, he throws the barrier a bit late. Uh, the Malphite will zone out the Vlad for him, and all should survive. I would have just gone on the tower there. I mean, they had the opportunity to go for kills, but they could have just taken an inhibitor tower. That could have almost yeah. ended the game. I mean, Dragon's up in a minute. You take that inhibitor, go to Dragon. I mean, you could almost bait a Baron at that, at that point. Yeah, it, it was that was definitely greedy from Team Eat It. They they saw kills, they wanted kills rather than focusing on the objective. Kill. You can have a hundred kills and still lose a game if you don't have any objectives. Yeah, it's called the solo queue through arenas. Yeah. Anyway, we do see the Rileys and the Negatron coming out of Vlad right there. So Lucian will be able to chunk him very hard, especially considering he's 8-0 with a Triforce already. That's a 20-minute BT Triforce. That's huge. Right. Uh, now he's going to try and go for this Malphite. The Malphite's Oom, but 
He is tanky with that Spirit Visage and even the Null Magic Battle. But you the Rileys will slow him. Rileys are perma slows. Yeah. Vlad? Yeah, no, th but there's too much MR. He can't go for the kill. Yeah. Like, Vlad really, like, he doesn't offer that much damage in, like, ganks. He can't kill people quickly. It's it's slow sustain in poke wars. Absolutely. He's a lot of area effect damage in his Tides of Blood. Yeah. It's just... And also the fact that I'm pretty sure the Tides of Blood offers the full slow from real eyes. Because each one of them is single target. It's not like throwing out a Grag Sparrow, which would be an AoE spell and normally offer the 15% slow. But because the Tides of Blood offers... Oh! Gragas dodges... Dive the... comes down onto Gragas, and he gets Chunkaroonie. Pantheon tries to follow up, but there's not really much he can do. Janinato comes down, and she just goes under tower. Yeah. I, I think they probably could have turned onto the, the Pantheon there. Like, the... The, uh... Oof. Oh! Are they gonna get the Vlad? Yeah, one Pantheon more. goes down there. He just goes around the wrong way to, to that river. Yeah. But, uh, here's the Lucian, and... Oh, nice monsoon goes out, and he should make it out. But, oh, flash flashing the wall. She does throw out the soul shackles and the dark binding, and I think we're going to see the end of the Flota. I don't want to be racist, but Lucian, you're going back to prison in those soul shackles, buddy. Although, is a Morgana going to go down? Yes, she is. A little bit too, uh... Hyphy? Yeah, hy hypey going on to the tower. She underestimated think... the damage that, uh... Uh, I, th yeah, I, 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 I think if Leona would have tanked the tower there, there would have been absolutely oh. okay. But uh, because she just didn't, she just gave no fucks and she just went right under the tower. Yeah. Oh, out. Oh, nicely done. And this should be a dead vibe. Nope, the Pantheon ult comes in a little bit too late. And Malphite ult? And end up killing the Leona. He, that was a nice pick off. Flash. Dragon, I don't recall if it was taken. It was up in the front house. They, they took it while Morgana was dying. Ah, I understand. Wait, uh, with this uh, Leona down and the vibe push out, I would have expected them to try and put some pressure. Oh, uh, no, well, no, they couldn't. The uh, Lucian was dead. Never mind. It's all right. We get to make stupid calls as casters. That's our job, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going to see Vlad going in for Spirit Visage, which I actually disagree with. I really think he wants the Zonias just to just straight up live. Like, the, the Spirit Massage is nice, it keeps you alive, and, and like, it's good for sustain, it's good for health, it's good for MR, but the Zonias will, it'll give you the damage, it'll also give you health because of Vlad's passive, but more importantly, it's like, you can, t you can, uh, do your combo, drop your ult, and then you can, uh, use your pool, and then when you come out, if they're sit waiting for you, just Zonias, and you waste their, all their time. I mean, let's be honest. If you can be invulnerable for a solid five seconds, why wouldn't you be just just for the hell of it? I mean, yeah. like flashing in and zone using. I mean, there's no more style points than that. Yeah, and, and also just the way that like Vlad works. Once you get max CDR, CDR with him, your Q and your E are two and a half second cooldowns, and zone use is two seconds. So you after you come out of your pool, you Q, you E, you Q, you zone use. You come out of zone use, you E, you Q, and you have three or four seconds for your pool. Uh, Leonald is thrown out and catches no one. We will see little Hollywood. He might be trying to go for a barrel. But the no, spell shield down, so, so he could have gone for it. Yeah. One uh, thing that I will yep. say, though, is that Zoni is a two-second friend. Uh, Vlad starts collapsing on the Gragas from the side. The Riley slow is not really enough to get him to any significant sort of killable damage. Yeah. There's yeah. no Leonald no. to collapse, but Vi still does have Q ult. Yeah, uh... There's been a lot of cullings in the air. Apparently the air's gotta die. Oh, he walks forward, he gets, uh, jumped on, but he's able to turn around and this Vi, she's now completely alone, this is what I was saying before, and she gets turned on. Here's the Malphite, there's a nice two-person on Shovel Force goes on, the Morgana gets blown up before she can pop her Zonias, and now the Sivir is looking dead. This is an utter cleanup. Oh, That's a what a 5k nice goalie will do for you. Uh, they should the dive comes in here. Malphite's tanking the tower at the right person. Malphite's leaving the tower. Is the Vlad is able to get dove properly? Lucian switches aggro. Is is Pantheon gonna go down? Oh, he lives by Look a at hair. Both the of these guys. My God, that was a solid like two health there. They can count them on one hand. That Pantheon lived by the the skin of his teeth. I swear to God. Was... Can I clean it up? No, nah, the talisman or excuse me, Shirelia's, as it's properly called, comes in. That was really well done from Team Eat It. They pick up uh, three or four kills and they get out with it by the skin of their teeth. 
Hey, you're not allowed to use my metaphors. Gosh. It's. I. I. Sorry, I didn't know you owned the copyright. Well, you know I, what? I, I, I trained that. I didn't know that. you were uh, a copyright troll. Well, I am. What? Are, so, are you going, are you what are you going to do about it? Are you going to start trying to patent troll uh, other people now? I don't have to patent troll other people. It's my saying. It's like, are you going to say puns of damage when you're not freak? Are you? Are you going to go out there and say it? What item well, does have Lucian have in his one slot right now? What item? Wait, what did you say? What item does Lucian have in his one slot right now? Um, a darn blade? No, that, that's, his, that's his five slot. It's uh, from oh, the center outwards. It's one slot? Uh, it's a Triforce. And, and how much damage does the Triforce give? Tons of damage. Oh my god. You, you, you're not freak. You're not allowed to say that. Tons? Okay, t okay, to be fair, puns of damage is where it's at now, but... I, I feel wrong if we're not freaking and we're saying that. I mean, it's his saying. Tons of damage? It, how, you can't... Tons of damage isn't someone's... It's not freak saying because... It's, it's like, like D-Man saying, I cannot believe that. Like, it's it's his thing. Okay, but uh, it's like... Okay, it might... In, in terms of, like, the League of Legends community, but it's not... Tons of damage is not something that is unique to him in all the world. No, in all the world. But it, I mean, still, like it's 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 his thing. You can't you can't take away his thing thing. It was never his to take away from everyone else. Oh, they will catch the Sivir though, and she's gonna go down instantly. Absolutely. There's a turnaround from Morgana with the Soul Shackles. The Vlad ult goes on to four. Leona dives in. She's gonna get dropped down. Vlad is getting focused. The Bile is onto the uh, Lucian, but it doesn't really do much. Malphite's chasing down Vlad, but the Riley Slow should be able to get him out of there. Flash comes out with the Seismic Shard. Is he gonna be able to catch up? The team's trying to follow up. I think they should just be going in towers here. Who yeah. cares if Vlad gets away? The they, should not, yeah, they should not be chasing him. Like, this is all. Like, the Lucian just went down. Uh, they get I, I would have gone in the tower. Yeah, they, they get the Vlad, but they're not going to get in and hit. Yeah, I guess I'll get a tower out of it, but it wasn't really worth it. They, op they open up an opportunity for Team Black Dawn to counter Baron, or at least counter bait Baron, or establish vision control in Baron. Yeah. As, uh, you know, they might not even get this tower. I think they can tank it, but it's going to be risky. You know, well, so they, there's, there's now going to be three people here. I don't think they're going to be able to go in it, but... I, oh, they don't yeah. even get the tower. Yeah, they, they can't away. get it. There's not enough creepways. Morgana's able to clear them out. She goes for the flash, and the soul shock, or the binding is not enough. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of the longest crack controls in the game, but when you're that far away, it's difficult but, to, to capitalize on. It's also just the slow, like, at the slowest missile speed. Yeah. I mean, you fire it, and then the next creep wave comes, and it hits. Pretty much. It's basically one of those crowd controls where if it's by it's a skill shot where if you're alone, you're by yourself, and you're not like right next to her. If you're at almost max range, there's almost no excuse to be hit by it. Absolutely, it's that slow. It's a it's a, a zoning tool. You can sometimes punish people. Um, oh. Malphite all goes in onto the Vlad and Sivir. Can they follow up? Morgana gets chunked down. They're just in full-on retreat mode. Vlad tries to go in, but he's alone here. Lucian's leading a dive onto three members, but the Vlad and Leona are just getting chunked, trying to go onto the Gragas. I don't think they're going to get anything. No, they're not. That's cool. Lucian goes in 1v3. Is he going to be able to? He comes up with one kill. Looks like they're going to take the dragon as a yeah, consolation see, uh, prize for their AD carry getting, getting yeah, taken out. The, the Lucian is the one diving from, uh, from uh, Team Edith. Uh, everyone else is just turning on the Vlad and the Vi when they go in, which I think is by far the correct decision. Well, it, it should be the Malphite that's trying to walk in and cause havoc in the other team, not the Lucian. Well, I mean, if you're going for style points or if you're going for winning points, that's the question. <laughs> um, they could catch out the Sivirna. She has a spell seal, so they won't be able to get the slow on her. Yeah, Absolutely. uh, the, this, this gold lead for Team Eated is just getting bigger and bigger. It's now above 10,000 gold mark, which is usually the point when you have to say, how, is it even possible to come back? 10,000 gold is possible to come back from if you have the proper comp matchup. One thing I wanted, one thing I would do is if I was team eated, I would just siege. You have Gragas, which has amazing siege. You have the Janus shield. I'd, I'd maybe look for a Baron, and i just try and siege a tower. Just force it, because the Morgana wave clear is good at clearing waves over time, but it's not like a Ziggs or a Gragas where you'll just, the wave's gone. There's no more wave. You'll be, they'll actually be able to get the Lucian close enough to the tower that arguably, short of a Vialt or a Leonel, he'll be able to take the tower down. Yeah, 
No, that, that's very true. And it looks like they're going to try and get Baron as Sivir is in the bottom lane. And this is exactly what happened last game with the first Baron, where the Sivir just got caught out at bottom. And uh, if they do turn onto the Baron, it should be for free. But no, uh, the Gragas is a little bit too far. So I don't think they're going to try for it. I think they're looking for the top tower. Yeah. Which actually opens up to them to a lot of counter pressure in this mid tower. It might even go down. It's very, very low. Uh, Looks like they have enough wave clear now that Lucian yeah. and Gregus are here. Yeah, and the Janus shield will keep it a little bit healthy. And uh, Black Dawn have to back off. Absolutely. They need to be. I mean, besides top lane, they need to be inside their base. Otherwise, they're just going to get picked over and over again. They don't have enough damage to turn the team fight. Oh. Malphite ult goes in on two. Gregus is gonna barrel. Leon ult goes down. Janna gets stunned. There's a nice dive onto the back line with Malphite and, and Pantheon. Leon is gonna get chunked, sacrificing herself to keep her team alive. Yeah. Uh, and now this is a 5v3 down ultimates. Yeah, and there's a... Uh, there's, there's no way Blackdown should be able to defend this. It could be... Oh, they're gonna get the stun onto the Vlad. But really, they shouldn't even try to kill him right now. He will actually decide that he wants to go in and see if he can get anything done by himself. But 1v5 is not the way to do it. And uh, he's just going to feed the kill over and that will be the inhibitor. Absolutely. Uh, they could even try and end. I don't think they can now after that skirmish, but they might be able to get a single tower. I just look for the Baron. Play it safe. The only way you lose this game is if you throw. Yeah. Play it safe. Ward up, gain ward control on Baron, five pinks, five sweepers kind of thing. Is Gregus going to get cut out? Oh. Barely avoids the binding. Oh, oh, Vi oh there will be the ult, in. though, but there's no dark binding to follow up. And that will be the Vi getting blown up as Gragas damage is just godly. <laughs> Lucian gets caught, he doesn't realize there's, a, there's an inner tower there. Never mind, an outer tower. Yeah. Janna looks like she's trying to get uh, blown up by Leona, but she's not exactly a damage carry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that barrel! Hops are gone. I'm, 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 no I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for sound effects here, Mike. Can you do a nuclear a bomb? Because that was some big nukage. Where's the mushroom cloud after that one? Because uh, really, I, I could, I couldn't find the, uh, the sound from a nuke on, from Starcraft. You know what? That wouldn't be out of place right now. Okay. Right, <laughs> we actually late. do. We can't do it. We'll watch the replay at some point. Yeah. It was about 30 minutes. Sivir's blowing ult to try and dive here, but oh, I don't no, really think there, there's much the they ghost, and he pops the pool. Uh, Janna might go down, but no, he will decide to turn around. Gragasol is coming back up soon, and uh, if Vlad had stayed, he risked getting popped. That's a surrender rope coming out, actually. Yep. And that's going to be it from Black Dawn. They're going to get 2 0 by Team Eat It. And another long but close game for throughout most of the early game. Absolutely. That was a well-played game. Yeah, uh, with that, I think that's going to be all the games for the night. Mike, Quad, it's been a pleasure casting with you, despite your horrible taste in music and your late sound effects. It was nonetheless an absolute pleasure. My music is glorious. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later at the, uh, I think, on Friday when the next set of games are played in the Carlton In-House Tournament. Signing off, it's Pink Mun, Martin Lund. And, and Quad, thank you all for tuning in.